uh, obviously I haven't helped you, I must be serious. Is there any way for me to put a smile on the face of someone in prison other than secretly telling him that I'm suing the guard that kicked him yesterday? Well, I, I don't know, you know, I'm still waiting up know what it feels like to benefit from the Constitution of the United States <laughs> or statutory law, you know. I, I have, I'm still trying to wonder what it feels like to be treated like a human being, you know. Uh, all these are voice time experiences for me. Uh, uh, so, you know, uh, it, you know, for me, everything is about struggle. Whether it's your know, economic, social, legal, you know, uh, political, whatever, you know, I think that, you know, we live in a society where the individual is more important than than than, than the group, and I think that, you know, we have to develop a level of consciousness, develop a moral compass that will allow us to come together and fight against that, to fight to change the ideas and and practices of other men, women, and children in this country, you know, but we, and we have to develop a level, when I say level of conscience, overwhelming majority of the men and women in prison are economic prisons. We say the economic prison because we live in a society with an economic system that, you know, almost, it divides people on the line of class, race, gender, and stuff, you know, so the policies are almost guaranteed. You know, when, in my generation, uh, it was guaranteed that had been determined that one out of every four black men would be in prison. It was my unfortunate to be that one out of four. And I think the thing, the great thing about becoming politically aware and, and developing a, a level of conscience that I realized that I was not a bad person, that I was not a criminal, that I was in prison, but prison wasn't in me. You know, and I realized that there were social forces at work in this country that determined that I would wind up in prison. And so once I was able to figure that out, you know, uh, it was easier for me to build, you know, my moral principles and, and dignity, pride, self-respect. Uh, one of the reasons, you know, I struggled so hard uh, in solitary and in angle, and even not, is that every morning when I get up and look in the mirror, I don't want to be ashamed of what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's one of the motivating uh, factors, and you know, me, you know, doing what I'm doing. You know.